I'm not sure where Jurgen's head is at, at the moment. I saw the the, the scoreline last night coming out of Anfield. Liverpool nil, Luton one, and I thought, wowza. What's going to happen in this one? Um, and we knew that Liverpool in the second half would try and set about Luton, and that's exactly what happened. But is Jurgen going overboard slightly with his siege mentality? Because post-match, Klopp attempted to echo the spirit of Barcelona as well as uh, cast Chelsea as favourites for Sunday's Carabao Cup final. Jurgen, at his best. Probably a few months ago or years ago already, I promised the players I will not mention a Barcelona game again. Yeah. And so because I met from time to time, it's just my favourite football game ever. <laughs> so I thought it makes sense. And today again, I mentioned it, just about who was missing, how we scored, because we could have said that night, obviously. He's not here, he's not here, he's not here, or you just play the game, and that's what we did. We started with a bad pass of Joel Matip, which Jordi Alba wants to head back to his back. Sadio Mane smells the situation, Jordan Henderson, not our leader, fantastic player, but not famous for 1 1, a lot of 1 1 situations. Out dribbles the centre half, finishes it off, and Divo Gorigi scores the goal, which everybody here would have scored. So wonderful. And then, second goal, number eight in the box after losing the ball, winning it back and stuff like this. So it's not about how you usually play. It's what you do in the moment. And I promise the boys from now on, I will mention Luton instead of Barcelona. <laughs> so Jürgen there, I mean, post match, of course it's three points, but Jürgen fist pumping all four sides of Anfield. Yeah. Uh, talk of that famous night yeah. against Barcelona. But this was Luton Town coming to play them at so Anfield what? He's got night. seven more games, league games at Anfield, before the curtain comes down on his career. At Anfield and oh, that's what it's about so you amp everything up you heighten the sensitivities the emotion you're dealing with a very different animal that's in pursuit of potential greatness as he exits stage right he walks out of Anfield with four trophies in the bag done deal every last piece of emotion every last piece of call to action every last piece of focusing the player's mind everything about the opportunity that faces Jurgen Klopp will want him to he'll want to leave with people wanting more they'll want more anymore anyway but to leave it in the condition where if they were to walk out of English football with four trophies tall order big ask mm. I suspect it's probably on the balance of probability unlikely but not beyond the wit of them they've got their top of the Premier League they've got a League Cup final which irrespective of the injuries I would put them favourites against Chelsea because Chelsea are like a you know like a box of chocolates and Torres Gump you don't know what you're going to get one week to the next <laughs> and then you've got the Europa, Europa League yeah. and you've got the FA Cup and this, it's there to be done so why wouldn't you ring out Every superlative, every oh, single... You're having it. Well, I am and I'm not. I think it's over egging the pudding, but the man's in a mode of, I'm leaving. I'm leaving because I'm going to be exhausted in six months' time. Yeah. His forecast is exhaustion date. So, right? yeah, right. I may as well max so out. I, I might as well max out on every last sentiment <laughs> and every last sensitivity. Yeah. Um, so, fair play to him. Fair play, OK. And by uh, the way, beaten Luton. Luton gave him a torrid time and a difficult game up at Kenilworth Road. Yeah. And you've got to beat these sides. And he also described the effect of the goals that Liverpool had in that sh very quick run of play where they scored four goals quite quickly as a tornado. Mm. So, he is... At it, on it, and across it. Was it exactly Barcelona, though, was it? No, it wasn't, but it doesn't matter because there's players in that side that didn't play against Barcelona, and he's got a call to action and reminding people of the greatness of Liverpool teams of the past and giving them a focus. OK, I get where you're going with it, and maybe he's quite right to do it because his days are limited in that part of the world. Incredible saying it. I still can't get my head around that. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.